how many of us leave Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and any other social media feeling as if we've really gotten something of value out of it. I know I don't. And most of the time I'm left feeling as if I could have done something more productive with that time. We know it's not possible to completely swear off the internet as it's pretty much taken over every sector of our lives. But as college students and busy people in general, we're looking to spend the least amount of time on social media while also getting the most out of it. The internet has so much to offer and can really add value to your life if you're intentional about the ways that you're using it. ID Magazine is one of the few places that I leave feeling as if I've really learned something or even been inspired. My name is Maggie McGrath, and as a longtime avid reader of the magazine and a newly hired intern, I feel I have a lot of insight into all that this magazine offers and the resources and opportunities that its employees are provided with as well as its subscribers. Today, I'm gonna to tell you all about ID Magazine. Specifically, we're gonna talk about what ID is about, the history of the magazine, and all that it has to offer for its employees and subscribers. So a little bit about ID. ID is a British publication. It was first published in 1980 and is dedicated to fashion, art, music, pop culture, and film. ID has built itself on being a consistent source of inspiration for anybody who's in the creative field and just anybody in general. Um, it began as a fan scene and then soon transformed into the glossy magazine that is now internationally known. The magazine is not limited to one art form. The publication has something for everybody. Um, ID features artists in fashion, music, photography, film, and any other creative field. Um, we are constantly reinventing ourselves and our company continues to stay relevant and inspire others, even years after its creation. Since its creation, ID has focused on showcasing real people using what has been coined as straight up um, portraits. These are head to toe portraits of a real person in real clothes. Um, it's not staged, it's just your average person. Um, the point is to tear down those walls that most big publications have put around fashion and really just democratize it and show um, that this art form can be for and by anybody. Um, the magazine is intended to be imperfect, raw, and real. ID is a successful publication thanks to its creator, Terry Jones who set out to showcase something that other magazines and big, pu big publications were not. Um, so this is a photo of the creator of the magazine, Terry Jones. Um, this photo is from 1974, so he looks a bit younger there than he does now, um, but it's in a script um, conference for Monty Python. Anybody knows what that movie is. Um, since its first issue in 1980, ID has democratized fashion, art, and art, showing us that we can do it ourselves and that art is made for and by everybody. Jones has been coined as the art director who started street style culture. Um, he saw that no other big publications focused on the street style and um, just like the real people around us that you might be inspired by on a day to day. Um, despite being discouraged by most of his colleagues and not really receiving any financial backing or any support from anyone around him, um, he was undeterred and set out to publish what later became what we know as ID. Um, the magazine started as a small fanzine made with a typewriter and hand stapled together. Um, the initial release was not super successful in fact, many people complained actually about um, their hands bleeding from all the staples. Um, so, to, and then fast forward to today, um, ID is an internationally renowned publication selling over 67,000 copies a month just in the UK. Uh, but this magazine is published internationally. They have a website and Instagram. Um, so yeah, they're pretty spread out and easy to find. Uh, depending on what platform you would prefer. Um, so with its success, ID now can publish high fashion content, which is really great, uh, but it still is influenced with that rebellious spirit that 
its founder, Terry Jones, infused it with so many years ago. Um, ID was essentially an exercise in social documentation, a catalog of real people wearing real clo clothes. This is a quote by Dylan Jones, who um, is a current editor of GQ magazine, which is just another um, fashion art media magazine. And he actually is a former editor of ID. So now that we've gone over um, the history of ID, um, anything that you would want to know about Terry Jones, um, the creator, let's kind of get into um, what ID now has to offer for its employees and subscribers alike. So ID Magazine has so much to offer for its employees and subscribers. As an employee at ID, you are given opportunities and connections that can help build your career. So um, working for ID is not um, isolated. It would give you more opportunities than a standard job in the creative industry. And because it focuses on more than just one sector, um, as a creative, you would have just more room uh, to kind of lift off after you or if you ever decide to leave ID so that's something that I really like about the company and really took into account when I was choosing um, deciding if I wanted to work for them and so yeah it'll just open so many more doors for you than you would have had otherwise uh, in addition to this this space is a space that encourages and fosters creativity this was really important to me when I was um, applying. I just wanted to make sure that even though this was my job, that I wasn't gonna be limited and they would still embrace new ideas and new innovations that a fresh face might bring to the team. Employees are pushed to think outside of the box and take risks. As a company, um, they value every perspective and background because we know that this is what makes the artist. Um, everything that you create as a creative comes from your personal experience and so it's really important to have a diverse team and just know that everybody can bring something different to the table and then in addition to this as any subscribers to the magazine if you subscribe to um, the physical magazine you will um, receive a free tote bag with every print or like every physical magazine that you get so that's a really cool perk so um just to review what we talked about today we talked about id magazine specifically um, we went over what the magazine is about the history of the magazine and anything that it has to offer um so yeah thank you all for coming uh feel free to connect with us on instagram uh, reach out to our email and then we're located in london so if you're ever in london and you want to come see what all id is all about definitely come check us out